arrived in our living rooms after World War II, it was here to stay. Television. It's entertained us, informed us, and often changed history. TV really is this almost super gadget that brings picture and sound and entertainment and news and all of these kinds of things into the home. The idea of a technology which allows you to reach hundreds of millions of people, that they will sit there obediently and listen to you for long periods of time, the idea of prime time, are completely new ideas in human history. Television first gave us a much wider image of what was going on around the world. We saw that in things like coverage of the Vietnam War. Dan Rather cut his teeth reporting on combat from the jungles of Vietnam. The Vietnam War was the first television war because while there was no live coverage from the battles, there were vivid pictures. You didn't have to imagine it anymore. You'd seen it. And it brought the protests against the war live right into living rooms all over. One thing to read about it, another thing to see it right in your living room. Television played a very important part in changing public opinion about the war. There is a thought that Walter Cronkite's commentary led public opinion. Well, it seems now more certain than ever that the bloody experience of Vietnam is to end in a stalemate. It changed the nature of war coverage forever, but it also changed society, and I would argue changed the world in a small degree. Number two.